notes. Um, where are your drawings now? Do you happen to know where your drawings are now? I suspect they are somewhere in the archive, since I've been I've seen confiscated items taken there for. You seem different from the rest. Can I trust you? I've been trying to sneak in for days now, but Miss Riswell keeps a tight guard on the door. I even stole a key from one of those guards. You're a doctor. Surely you could gain that entry. If you could recover my drawings, I would be so grateful. Here, take the key with you. Um, chances are he's not going to talk about Alexander until we get his drawings back, but let's ask anyway. My name is Dr. Wakefield. I, well, in this case, I was probably supposed to ask that before I asked about the drawings, but whatever. I'm looking for a man who lived here some time ago. Would you happen to know one Alexander Dupree? The name does not ring a bell. I have not been here long, though. You should ask the other patients. They may be able to help you. Some have been here many years. Or you could ask one of the others, the brutes who keep us here. All right. So, yeah. Alright, so I got a key. Yay. Uh, what's this? Inmate quarters. I don't want to go in there yet. I want to go back over to what I suspect is the main building over here. There may yet be something interesting over here. Can't go any further, so let's go in. Distant echoes. The color in this place is unpleasant. So let's talk to the old lady. Good morning, madam. My name is Dr. Wakefield. I'm a psychiatrist. Oh my, good morning. Forgive my manners. I get so excited when we have visitors. We don't get many these days, and certainly we're lacking experts like you. What do you mean you lack experts? Every year we get less funding from the Crown. First the doctors started to leave, then it was the caretakers. Now very few remain. But we have a responsibility to the poor patients, do we not? We must care for them. They cannot be out living with the proper people. We must keep ourselves safe, and our patients too, of course. I'm looking for a man who used to be a patient here a few years ago. His name is Alexander Dupree. Did you perchance ever meet him? Alexander Dupree, yes. There was one with a foreign name. I remember something of him. A good man, if I recall correctly. An educated man. But there was something strange about him, wasn't there? I believe it was. It scared some of the other patients. You never know with this lot. I'm sorry that I can't remember much. There have been so many people here. It's hard to keep track. Have you worked here for long? Yes, a long time. I scarcely remember how many years. Time goes slowly in here, and the isolation... The rules don't allow us to leave. I don't know what is happening to the world anymore, but we have our duty, do we not? Who else will care for our patients? Is she even... I would kind of wonder if she's even a caretaker or if she's a patient. Anyway, may I request access to the Institute's archives? There should be some information there about a man I'm looking for, Mr. Dupree. I'm sorry, Doctor, but the archives are private. We must not allow anyone to access them without the proper authority. Many of our patients come from good families, you see and we take good care to res respect their privacy, but do not look so crestfallen. You would not find much in any case. It has been a long time since they have been organized. All right, so you're no hope whatsoever. What's over here? Okay, so these are books. Pulp books. What's over here? All right, both. A serene, yes, apparently. Alright, how about this one? A portrait of a severe looking man, most like most probably the founder of the institute. Uh okay, so that's the archive. That's fine. I'll sneak in there at some point. An oil picture portraying Dymph Dymphna? Patron saint of the psychiatrist, but also the, of those who suffer neurological disorders and victims of incest. Okay, that's awfully specific. She was killed by her own father, who chopped off her head after she refused, refused to marry him when her mother died. Okay, that was um, a thing. This must be the recreational wing. Oh, yeah, I can't talk. Where patients relax and pass the time. Perhaps here I can find someone who met Alexander Dupree while he was institutionalized. Perhaps. Uh, Marble bust of Hygieia. Greek goddess of physical and mental health. Okay. This is... uh, that one doesn't have a... 
cheerful pastoral scene. Do, do, do. A man wearing a worn out military uniform, lost in go God knows what thoughts. Can I talk to him? Let's talk to him. Excuse me, sir, I, I could not help but notice your uniform. Were you in the army? Leave me alone. You do not want to talk to such a coward as myself. Okay, I'll talk to him later. The warm decoration of this room suggests a great deal of sensitivity to the patient's moral needs. Mm, okay. Not sure what that means. It is odd that only this window is shuttered. The curtain casts a mottled shadow over this corner of the room. Can I open it? Apparently not. Alright, next dude, let's talk to you. Oh, lady. Good morning, madam. My name is Wakefield. I am looking for a former patient of this institution. The rumbling. She doesn't seem to have noticed me. Um, madam, if I may persist, how long have you been living here for long? The rumbling. Alright. This is going to go... Oh, an eyeless gaze. Interesting. What have you Okay, okay. That's interesting. Good morning, I'm a psychiatrist, Dr. Wakefield. Quite an impressive institution you have here. Can I ask you for your assistance? I'm looking for a former patient of this institution. His name is Dupree. I'm sorry, sir, I've never heard that name before. There are not many patients for an asylum of this size. The asylum is quite big, but I can't help noticing there aren't many patients around. Well, apart from the isolation ward, it is true that there are not many patients at present, but there are even fewer of us caretakers now. We are only three for the whole hospital. For what I've been told, in the old time, in the old times, the income was enough to pro provide for everything we need: a complete staff, proper accommodation for the patients, and the best doctors. But as the newer, bigger regional slums were built, the crown support was gradually withdrawn from East Hill. Soon, every started, everyone started leaving, and this is what remains. Um, maybe one of your senior colleagues could know something about this former patient. Uh, you could ask Miss Roswell in the intracell. I already did. She's been for a year for years, maybe for too long. You know we caretakers live here with the patients, and we are not allowed to leave the asylum's premises. This life can get to you if you don't take proper care. I keep I try to keep as much much distance as possible from the lunatics. Alright. Alright, um I thought I saw something I could pick up. Okay, hang on, let's go over here. Door opening. A thin piece of metal holding the window open. Can I take it? Why, yes I can. Oh boy. Dark as the room is now, I can see through the false mirror. There is a man on the other side, heavily restrained, desperate, desperately trying to free himself. He has an expression of unbearable horror on his face. Okay. Um, yeah. Looks like a therapy log. Alright, I'm not going to read all this. This is a lot. Mr. Roan, acute dementia. Reese is playing through area. Hi Reese, don't get killed. Alright, so he's been restless and morphine is not working, but he's been obsessive. Alright, double the morphine to no effect. Dr. Weldahl has been attacked and bitten in the face. Ow. Three markings were found upon his body upon examination. Self-harm probable cause. So he was getting better. Uh, his habits changed. Uh, shows an interest in religion and spends his time murmuring prayers. But not ones that they know. Okay, interesting. This is more. Yeah, same one. Interesting. Alright, so... 
some of that might be of use. Uh, I could try... Okay, no. Uh, I need to find something to open. If I try to talk to him again? No. Alright. So I've gotten a couple of things, learned a few things, maybe maybe some time at the inmates' quarters will help give me what I need to... I need to get into the archives. Okay, I can't get in there. Alright, let's talk to Mr. Spawn again. Um, actually, can I take these? Okay, so, hmm. <laughs> I don't have a lot of... don't have a lot of items so far. I still probably need a paper. Uh, let me look out here and see if there's anything else. Uh, let me talk to this kid again. Maybe? Alright, so that was my my Blu-ray player automatically turning off. Alright, um, 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 um okay. What else can I do? Anything else in London? No. Alright, so clearly I have everything I'm supposed to have in order to continue onward. So let's talk to Riswell again. Around. I might have missed an item, perhaps? Okay. I think I need to get... I need to get the paper, because she was talking before about not being able to know the outside world. Okay. What is... Hmm. <laughs> I can't open that. Let me talk to her again. Something that I, I mean, can I open this back up again? Okay, so no, I can't. What is that? Oh, there's a coin resting at the bottom. Alright, so that I think can get me the newspaper, which will hopefully allow me to get entrance to the archives. Adventure game logic, ladies and gentlemen. Adventure game. I can't complain. I mean, it's... I do really like adventure games, but... At t sometimes the, the chain is a little convoluted, I suppose. Alright. Newspaper! I'm gonna go give her the newspaper. At least I think this is... The correct approach. And she is indeed busy. Excellent! This is the hospital archive where, each, where a record of each patient, patient must be stored. If Mr. Dupree was really committed at East Hill, his file should be here somewhere. Okay. Portrait of a restrained patient surrounded by caretakers and a doctor. That's Maca. 